If you are currently leveling up your Django skills with this tutorial, this tutorial is part of a free YouTube playlist. The link to the whole playlist is in the video description. Now, if you love this tutorial and playlist, then you might also like to check out the whole course, Django Database ORM Mastery on Udemy. The link to the course, which should provide the best price, can be found in the video description. Previously, we have learned how to create and manage Postgres SQL schemas and the schema search path. Now we need to implement this new knowledge into our project, creating a Django custom migration, which will assign models to multiple Postgres SQL schemas. If we take a look at our project, the Docker compose file, we do have currently the setup for our Postgres database. And you can see here we have this volume. We're mapping across the startup script in our Postgres scripts folder over to Docker so that when the database initializes, it will also run this script. What we need to remember is this script runs at startup. That is before the migration of our Django model. So we need to keep that in mind. So we need to build a workflow which will utilize what we have so far and potentially extend on it. So just thinking about a basic workflow for this, we're going to create the container. Okay, so that's step number one. And then obviously the initialize, initialization script will then uh, run. So I think at this point, what we need to do is to build our schemas. So I think that's the plan there. So at this point, we need to extend the initialization script to build the two schemas that we're going to need for our design. Once the initialization script has run, of course, then we go ahead and run the migration, the, the Django migration. And I think at that point, what we're going to need is a, a custom migration, which will then perform the task of actually assigning. So at this point, we'll go ahead and assign the, the tables to the schemas. I think that's the plan. So that's the workflow. So let's take a look first at building the two schemas in the initialization script. Just thinking about this logically, we will need to create the schemas after the table has been created, um, regardless of whether the extension is installed or not, that doesn't matter too much. So let's place the code after the extension installation. So let's go ahead and run the commands that we introduced previously. So we're going to perform this on the inventory table. Let's uh, use the C flag. Let's remember that the C option in PSQL, this is used to run a single SQL command and then exit. This is what's going to allow us to execute SQL statements directly from the command line without entering the actual interactive shell. So let's go ahead and create our schema. So use the keyword create schema, and then we're going to create two schemas. So first of all is the inventory schema. You might not have seen the updated diagram. So I've simply now added a line around the inventory models that we have already created. Remember that there will be an additional table created through the Django migration process, which will store information about all the migrations that have been conducted on this particular set of uh, tables. So that's our migration history table that gets automatically generated by Django up here. That's going to go in the inventory management schema. So we've created now the inventory schema. And then for the second schema, we're simply going to copy the previous schema. Let's call this inventory management, inventory management schema. Now that we've created the two schemas, let's think about the search path. At the moment, we don't necessarily have all the information we need to effectively assign our search path. So what I think we'll do for now is to set the global search path to first of all, search for inventory schema and then inventory management schema. 
just so you can see it in action. And then a bit later on, if we move into user roles, we can think about changing that. So we're going to run a single command as we explored in the previous tutorial. Let's alter the database. So we're going to set this at the database level. Inventory table. So we're going to set the search path to inventory schema and then inventory management schema. And don't forget the doubles at the end. And now we have a basic setup for creating schemas and altering the database search path to include these two new schemas. Looking back at what we need to do, we have now created the schemas. So let's move on to the second task of the Django migration. So we're going to need to create a custom migration where we assign, in our case, the Django migration table to the inventory management schema. OK, so let's jump back into our project. So we have a range of different migrations at the moment. Let's go ahead and build a, a blank migration. Let's just check where we are. CD into my project so I can run the manage.py command. Uh, so we're going to make migrations. Here we're just going to build a, an empty migration. So we use the empty flag and then we can give it a name or whatever you want. I'll rename this in a second. So that's the new migration that's been created. You can see that it adds the dependency for us. So we just need to now complete the operation. Remember here, the dependencies attribute specifies the order in which migration should be applied. So we need to ensure that in actual fact, this migration is completed after all the tables have been created in the database. Hence why it is after the previous migration of the the product image being created in the database. I've gone ahead and renamed this migration to assign table schemas. Right, let's uh, now build our operation. So all we need to do here is we're going to run our custom, our custom SQL. So let me just get my memory back. So migrations dot run SQL. Let's go ahead and alter the table. So what do we want to alter? That's the inventory, sch inventory schema dot. So we're making the assumption that the table is currently residing in the inventory schema, the table called Django migrations. So we're making the assumption here that we migrate all of our tables over to the inventory database and the Django migrations table is created in the inventory schema. So here we are actually defining um, the schema where to find this table. And then we can go ahead and make the changes. So we're going to set schema or set the schema for this table to inventory management schema. OK, so notice we haven't actually defined that all the other tables should go into the inventory schema that we created. We haven't done that yet, but let's just explore the behavior when we run our migration now with the setup that we have. So if you have any containers running, let's just remove those. Let's go back to our project. Don't forget that we are running docker compose from the root so i'm just going to cd back up to that and then i can run docker compose up with the d flag so that brings back up the containers the first port of call let's just double check that there are no errors so i'm just going to inspect the logs for the database it uh, looks like we don't have any problems here so we created the database extensions and schema so you remember that in the script, the new code is just after creating the extension. You can see we've created our schemas. It doesn't look like there are any errors related to creating the schema. So it looked like looks like we're good there. So let's go into the add miner again. 
If you've forgotten, remember that's in your browser 127001 colon 8080. That's going to take you to the, the login page, which I need to probably access again. So password and username is going to be just Postgres. We can select a database. It's irrelevant at this point. So let's log in, have a look at the inventory. Uh, so we're going to see that we do have the inventory schema and the inventory management schema in our inventory database. Let's now migrate everything over. So CD back into my project. Let's run the migration. So migrate inventory. Oh, sorry. Migrate database inventory. Remember, we have a custom database set up inventory DB and then the app inventory. So that migrates successfully. And let's take a look at the default behavior. You can see that the default behavior in actual fact is that all the tables have been applied to the inventory schema. So notice here that in actual fact, the public, there are no tables anymore installed on the public because the first and default schema that we've defined is the inventory, inventory schema. And remember, we haven't actually defined the public schema when we set up our schemas in the setup script. So we've seen an example there of the fact that if we change the search path, Postgres SQL determines which schema to search for based upon what is available in the search path. So at this point, we didn't include public in the search path. Remember, we've changed the search path to only include inventory schema and inventory management schema. Now, remember that the order matters here. So Postgres will look for this schema first, inventory schema, and then look at the inventory management schema. So because we haven't actually defined public, Postgres SQL will not use public by default. It will use the first schema in the search path, which is inventory schema. As I spoke about before, we don't necessarily have all the information in this project regarding how we're actually going to finalize search paths. But just as another note, we can also assign apply search paths within our database configuration. So let's take our inventory DB here. What we can utilize is or define in the options. We have the capabilities of passing over a, a single command. So we have options and from here we can pass in a command to run now if you're using mysql have a look at the documentations because there is a command one second yep the init command so you can set the option init command init underscore command and that will then be used in mysql uh, to run that command prior to creating your tables. So that's just a, another option. Um, of course, that probably isn't relevant here. And plus, obviously, we're utilizing Postgres. So we're going to send or create a command. Uh, so search, search path. So similar like before, equals whatever our search path is. So in our case, it's going to be inventory schema and then potentially inventory management schema so that is potentially another way of defining the search path and remember at this point that potentially is a very global setting so eventually you may have multiple apps within your django application and you may set up different schemas for those apps so this type of approach wouldn't necessarily work unless you start to actually supply all the different schemas here and that might not be suitable for your particular project but just as an option you do have that option there to define schemas within the database settings. So a quick recap, we have now created or updated the initialization script for Postgres database to include the schemas and setting the schema path. And then we went ahead and we created a custom migration to assign the Django migration table, which is created after running migrations to the management schema.
So we now have everything up to date as per specification. We have all the inventory tables in the inventory schema, and we have now the Django migration table in the inventory management schema.